Now that I'm looking at it though, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it though, this looks wrong. Like they both look wrong to me. So I guess I'll just start. <sighs> All right, learning Kaizo for the first time ever. Uh, I've done I've done Kaizo with my hands, but I've never done it with dance pads. Never dabbled, never tried. So this is new territory. Hello and welcome to Learn to, Ta Learn to Kaizo. You will encounter the most used Kaizo tricks in this hack. Nice. Starting house, the simple jump. All right, here we go. Every Kaizo player needs to know how to jump. To jump, simply press the B button. We got it. I'm pretty sure there's actually a hidden block there. <laughs> I just jumped late. Continue and save. Chuck gate. To pass this chuck gate, jump when the chuck's hands are on the ground so he jumps too. Then simply run under him. Alright. Alright, now we know. Okay, I got it. Okay, we got it. I'm feeling an input delay with this. But I think it might just be... It's either the emulator or it's just... I don't know, something. Something feels off about it though. Reverse chuck gate. Uh -huh. You need to hold the jump... Wait, you need to hold the jump A and B button and run. Okay. Alright, so I guess it just means hold the jump button while running across the gap. Okay. So holding jump across gaps lets you cross gaps. I assume because holding jump, like, reduces your fall speed, maybe? That seems right to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jumping on bullets, man. What is this all about? I can't do Ugh. <laughs> Mario feel Mario World feels weird, dude. He he moves a lot. Hmm. Ah, I doubled back, dude. I was going too fast for it. Uh, timing though. Am I right, my dudes? There we go. Alright. Nice! I did, Joran. I did. So technically it's kind of cheating because I have experience with it. But like I said, that's with my hands. And everything goes out the window when I use dance pants. Timing is key. Wait until the lava lotus shoots, then spin jump on it and hold the spin jump button. So yeah, spin jumps are kind of tricky for me because... Because I have to go in like this spread form, uh, formation. Ugh. There's definitely an input delay though. Oh my god. Yeah. I might have to see if I can tweak that. Fucking hell, like it's it's really not good. Okay. Display settings have reduced input lag. Uh, do you know specifically which setting? Okay. 
All right. Skelroth jumps. I wonder if this has like frame advance or something. I never actually looked at the settings. Wait, no, frame advance just pushes it ahead one frame, so I don't want that. Um, hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Skoroff jumps. Skoroff jumps sounds okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm using SNES 9X because uh, usually when I use BizHawk, it has input delay. <laughs> so the fact that it still does means uh, I don't know. Means I'm I'm clearly doing something wrong. Oh boy. Okay, good, good, yep, mm-hmm. No! No! Just gotta run back a bit. Oh my god. But yeah, I don't remember my Super Nintendo speedruns being this delayed. Either that, or I just got used to it. Ah. Here, the Rexor. We've actually just started. I had a pretty good paced run in 70 Star, and then I lost it because that's what I do. Okay. Ah. Okay. I don't think I need to spin jump. I think I can just regular jump. Yeah. But yeah, Zandro, do you know the setting? There we go. Okay, we're getting there. We're learning to Kaizo. As soon as I get, I'm pretty sure as soon as I get to my first gauntlet stage, that's going to be it for me. <laughs> There's actually a reduce input lag option. What? And when? Did my mouse just run out of battery? What the fuck? Bro, give me my mouse back. Wow, I guess it did. I'm just going to put the battery back though, just in case it was being stupid. Alright, it was just being stupid. Alright, so let's see. Video, display config, reduce input lag. That's already selected. Huh. Okay, then what was the other thing? Disable VSync. Alright, well, let's give it a go. The disco shell. Try to stay on the right side of the disco shell. You got it. Okay. Now this just feels really choppy. But I guess that's kind of the point, right? If you disable V-Sync. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, do I want clear picture or do I want to actually be able to jump? Ugh. Okay. I do not like disco shells, dude. 
All right, so is there anything I can do about the frame rate now? Um, do, 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 do. Okay. I'm just doing everything, dudes, you know? Um, I wonder what the best output method for this is. Because right now it's on D3D, but I don't know, sometimes OpenGL is okay. Mind the gap. Maybe disable it? Ah. Oh. No, we're dead! Seems good. Seems good. Seems good. Seems good! Let's go! Wow, what? Press down to win! Swimming! <laughs> okay, so I have to kind of let go of it for a bit. Or just mash. Ah, oh, damn it, it still goes up. Ugh. I'm used to other Mario games where, like, it it kind of levels you out on your way down. This one doesn't do that. It gives you the, the same height every time. Which I guess is good for consistency. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this level isn't bad. Obviously because it was in like a race format. <laughs> I was like, I was really trying to rush myself to get through. But yeah, alright, let's try to disable that as well. Let's just... Let's just see what all this is. Display config, reduce... Okay. Test number one! Oh my goodness, there it is, dudes. Safe. <laughs> oh. I forgot to hold jump. No! I keep forgetting to hold jump when I start. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so easy but not. <laughs> Just jump on two things, forehead. This is feeling a lot better now though. Thanks for your help, Zandro. Ugh. Yeah, so the one little problem I'm having there is that I'm jumping too late. That time I jumped too early though. Hoggers. Okay, so that's the, um, that's one of the more annoying things about old Mario games, is that you have to hold up to jump out of the fucking water, and I hate it.
God, I hate it so much. Ah, uh, yes. I remember you. Man, that's still an awkward jump. Okay. Okay. That ain't it. Spin jumps are weird, man, because my weight distribution is so, like, different. Yeah. <laughs> like, with, with bad weight distribution, I'm, like, stuck. I'm stuck holding the button longer than I want to. I hate these chucks, dude. <laughs> it's just like, like you have to wait until they're on the ground. And if you do it wrong, then it'll punish you for it. Okay, poggers. Ah, of course. I'm pretty sure the disco show was the last part. If memory serves. Ah, it's so bad, dude. I think I, I won't do a full jump. I think I'll just do a small jump onto it. Over there. Ugh, you son of a bitch. Having boss bros flashbacks, dude. Alright, there we go. There we go. It's all just applied practice. Obviously some things I'll be better that than others because timing stuff when it's moving back and forth and flickering is not easy. Holding the balance. Oh good. <sighs> Alright. So time to get an awkward spread formation. So ideally what I want to try and do is get back into my regular position after landing on this thing. Because that way I'll have more control. It does mean more effort per jump, but it means less effort long term. No, dude, it was so close. No. <laughs> okay, so on jump number 10. Come on now. Okay, sure thing. Like, just trying to get the right speed is the hardest part of this. Yeah. 
Because if you're going too fast, you have to like... If you're going too fast, you have to like... You know, fix yourself. Correct yourself, that's it. I don't think counting your deaths is a good learning tool, but that's just me. Like, the indicator at the top left shows me how many stages I've done. Awkward timing, but we got there. Like, the transition from, from the spin jump back to my regular control wasn't bad. But just maintaining that control is hard. The Betrayer. Oh dude, dismounting Yoshi is hard as fuck for me. Huh? You can ditch Yoshi to get more height. Yes, indeed. Okay, nail it. I have to hold run and jump, and then while I'm in the air, switch over to X, which is also run, and then jump with spin jump. The spacing of the text upsets you? I mean, it's a ROM hack. Really? It, how old of a ROM hack is this actually? Wasn't it like 2015? Ish? You suggest I hydrate? Nah, I'm good. 2017? Dang. Alright, where's the stuff? I didn't even look at the name of the stage actually. Okay. Fucking gate jumps, dude. I can't do gate jumps. Do I look like a fan gamer? I can't do gate jumps. Okay. Yeah. Gate jumps of varying sizes. That get easier as you go. No walls. It's a gate. I would know. I've beaten fan games. Baby rhinos are loose. It's a mental gate. True. Baby rhinos, as well as big rhinos, will jump over little obstacles in their way. Okay. Hooray! Okay, so just chain a bunch of jumps. Chain a bunch of jumps, but don't hold jump, because it's... It requires more. <laughs> no, I was almost good. <gasps> Hoggers! Okay, I am almost at the end of stream, so I think the next stage is going to be the last one I'll be able to do. Mini star. Uh-huh, okay. Be sure to press every on-off switch in this level. Uh, Ultra-style levels are usually based around platforms and on-off switches. Okay. Whee! Ah. Too soon, too soon.
Oh, that was it. Alright, we can go one more. Hit all of them. Two. The Bowser statue. Okay. I mean, it's a tutorial game, let's be real. Some Bowser statues won't shoot right away. You need to hit the Bowser statue with your head from below to make it shoot fire. I see. I see. Ugh. No! <laughs> I don't know if I should transition for this one. I probably should though. Moving left is hard though. Like spin jumping left is the hardest thing I can do. There we go. I'll just do that. Transition. So instead of being in this position, I get to this position. It's a big difference in terms of what I'm capable of. Okay. Frame perfect. Alright, this will be the last one. Oh, yeah, I probably won't be doing this. <laughs> to pass this level, you need to press grab and jump on the same frame. Uh, on the throw block to take it with you while jumping off. While jumping off from it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> uh, I knew this was going to be dog shit. God damn, I'm even trying to press jump before grab in hopes that it will actually do something. <laughs> we got it! Okay. <laughs> I needed to make sure that I moved away from the block, because I'm pretty sure that can fuck it up. <laughs> uh, these are silly. Honestly though, I've been trying to- I I've been hoping that the shell jump stage was going to come up, but it just hasn't. Oh, there it is. I'm going to do the shell jump and then I'm done. Like, this is the whole time I've been- this is the whole thing I've been waiting for. Yay! It's just one shell jump! How hard can it be, forehead? Oh. 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 Read the sign. I read it! Alright, GG. <laughs> and that's everything that we need to know about Kaizo, I guess. Shell jumps and whatever we did before that. GG everybody, game stomp, that's it, that's, that's, that's everything. Whatever two spin jumps is, that doesn't matter, we've done shell jumps. That's all Kaizo is. You ask anybody. When you think of Kaizo, what do you think of? They say shell jumps. They. They don't say asshole Mario or any of that other stuff, they just say shell jumps. See you later dudes, it's been good. Uh